So you want to make Spikey's puppet. Well, let's go. For the head, start with a ball of foil and wrap it with some white foam clay and roll it smooth. After it dries with some fresh clay, roll out eyes, nose, and a mouth. Add them on and use water to smooth it onto the head. For the puppet motion of the arms, that's controlled by my pinky and thumb and the head is articulated with my pointer finger. On paper, I'm going to sketch out a template for the minimum size. On the original, you can see how much extra material there is. For material, Joanne is my go-to. You can get these small amount of fabric for projects just like this. Remnants are also a great place to find discount fabrics or you can just get cut a small amount of a cotton pattern to your liking. Still have some extra from the fur so let's use that. On the inside of the fabric sketch the shape leaving even edge all the way around about a half an inch wide. The original I did sew together but figured let's try some sew free alternatives. On one side we're going to try out this iron on adhesive. Peel off the paper and sandwich the two pieces together and iron the area. Other alternative can be hot glue. Though I didn't feel like it's as good as a hold as sewing it or even the iron adhesive. The hands were created with white craft foam. Two pieces for each hand and just hot glue them in place. The collar was sewn together and a ribbon fed through at the top to create the ruffling. But here's an alternative. Back to Joanne. You can find all kinds of options that are already ruffled and you can get a small amount cut for super cheap. Here I got a quarter yard and it only cost me a buck fifty. Have to put a hole in the bottom of the head. Push down the foil so you can comfortably get your finger in there. Now paint everything up with some acrylics. Hand lay some synthetic hair onto the head. Now, if this part seems too daunting or you don't have the time, here's some options that you could substitute for the hair. Fun fur comes in all kinds of colors. Even these feather boas are a great alternative to hand laying hair. After the hair is done, trim it up, then cut the top of the fabric to attach the head. I used a bottle to hold the head when hot gluing it onto the costume. Glue the collar on and you're all set for your own killer clown puppet show. Check out this playlist for more killer clown themed tutorials.